Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. You guys have a Nick Cannon, Akon, and Lanice. Uh, Len What's her name? Lanisha Cole. So it all started with Nick Cannon the other day. So Nick Cannon, such a weirdo. And why does he do the same smile? It's so creepy. It reminds me of that stupid movie Smile. Do you know it took me almost like a week and a half before I could sleep? That movie is so freaking creepy. And when I see him smiling like this, it just reminds me of that movie. Ah! Creepy movie. I didn't know the movie was going to be that bad. I hate when he smiles. It just reminds me of that movie. Smile is such a weird, demonic, oh, such a weird movie. But anyways, so this is Nick smiling uh, at the Los Angeles mission. So uh, they say Nick toted himself as having the same vibe as Santa Claus. When asked by TMZ of his, hol of his holiday plans, Nick said that he will be traveling all night and dividing his time to see his many children. Nick was rolling with baby mama, Brittany Bell, and two of their kids, Golden and Powerful Queen. Nick has been criticized recently for spreading himself too thin with the sheer number of children and with some of his baby mamas seemingly taking shots at themselves. So, yeah, this was him. He went to the gospel mission. <coughs> his baby's mother and the kids. You know what? TMZ don't let you play their stuff, so let me stop. So then... After that, hold on. Okay, she came out because then everybody was clowning her. And so she was mad because people were calling her baby mama number 538. So she says this. Well, I wrote this. It looks like cracks are in Nick Cannon's happy haram. They are starting to show for the second time in less than 48 hours his baby mama, Lanisha Cole, is once again ranting online. Ever since she revealed that she was having a baby with Nick Cannon, a man who currently has 11 children and the 12th on the way, Lanisha, who is 40, claims she's the target of social media bullies, even though she herself is bullying other women in the haram by accusing them of photo ops and attention seeking. <laughs> Y'all can tell when I write some shit versus Madia. Um... So she says here, yes, I've made mistakes. Yes, I put myself through unnecessary pain and heartbreak. But calling me baby mama number 538 every time I say the sky is blue is uncalled for and getting old. She wrote this via Instagram on December 20th. Then she says, I wouldn't change a single thing about my journey because I'm in a beautiful place now and everything happened the way it did for me to get here. I've made peace with every decision I've made in my life. Then I made sure to remind everybody what she wrote two days before this, which was her shaming the other baby's mothers and saying <laughs> her shaming them and saying that it was a photo op. So and then you know though that little dog child. So yeah, we we felt no way. We just we hit her with the tiny violin and kept it moving. So now Akon decides to speak. I can't play it here because I don't know who owns that video. So give me a second. I'm going to play the, I got the Akon clip on my desktop. So I'm going to play it on my desktop. He did an interview. Her name is ZZ Mills. And so she was interviewing Akon. He went viral. He was trending for this mess here. Where's his video at? Okay, here we go. So we're going to hear what Akon has to say about the Nick Cannon situation. You know, after all, birds of a feather ew, 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 flock together. All right. Good old Akon. Exactly. So there's a small percentage of women that understands the concept of nature and men and how it goes together. 
But do you do you do you agree that Nick Cannon and his spreading of his seeds? One hundred percent. I oh, agree no. with him one thousand percent. Oh, no. That's how life is supposed to be. No, no, no. Why not? He's rich. No, but this he's, is no. See, wait, 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 wait. Let me wait. Get it. Okay, go he's on. He's rich. He's responsible. Is he? Yes. He no. takes care of everyone else's okay, children. But, no, but this is the and the baby mothers with it, and no. they hurt for nothing, and they live comfortably. You know, but what about the kids though? What about them? Because this is what I mean about men, right? You guys think that just having kids and giving money is enough. But what no. about the time? No. He's there for every How? one of them. How? There's no way that you can Are be... you serious? Are you... Nick is there for every single one of those kids. There's no way that you can have... Yes, it is. Kids. I got nine. And I'm there for every one of mine. So every single time you're at every single recital. No, that's a white man's thing. Who oh. the fuck about a recital? No. My what? job, oh no, seriously, my job is to, tr listen, my job is to raise my kids. No, but this is, hold on. Go to on. Be responsible. Yeah. To be understanding, to protect their mother, to, you know, to, um, to, to get hand with their father and assist with family planning and to be responsible adults. Okay, but what about y'all need to be doing all that extra stuff that all these holidays and recitals and all that. Is, now, guess what? While I'm taking care of my responsibility to make sure the family has a roof over their head and food, if I have the time to do that and show love, yes, I will do that. But my responsibility is to make sure that they grow up responsible, strong, and become a real you know, uh, uh, input to society. Yeah, but you're not, then if you're not around them enough to give them that's a most- false. That's No, that's not true. Because communication allows me to be there every day. That's yes. what FaceTime phone is for. No, but that's not the same it as if you had- No, Akon. Oh, no, wait, no, let me okay. finish, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish. I'm going to cut you off real quick. This is very important. No, but- No, no, no. Okay, it's very, go on. It's very important. Okay. The reason why people like me can't spend every single day and minute with their children is because the mother's job is to be there with children. I'm the man. My job is to provide comfort so the mother can provide and raise those children to be like me. Now, if it's a man, when a child gets a certain age, as a man, that's my responsibility now to show him what, is a, what a man's role and responsibility is. But you can't expect a man to conquer the world if he's home with children. Okay, but if you had two children, then maybe the two children can come with you all over the world. Well, why would you want to take children all over the world with a man? Oh, that's so that's so womanistic and woman. That, who, what man do you know is gonna ride around here with their children? Like, they don't, you know how weak that looks for them. That's I not that's real. Not even, like, who does that? Like, listen. No, so no, you're no. gonna tell me, no, as no, a wait. woman, you're gonna just pass your responsibility to me? No, take no. the kids to work? No, no. What I'm saying is, okay, I'm listening. Is that fair enough? You're saying multiple wives and all these things great right and you've got your kids but i'm saying that there has to be a level of actual presence that you are there in your child's I life and i'm not talking about you i'm talking about in general now but okay? most men with multiple wives no, are there no but if you have 12 kids there's no way that you are able to give your 12 kids the same amount of attention attention can i tell you something wait a minute i know parents with two kids and they don't give them the same amount well, of attention. that's fine. That's cool. Every I'm child just... attention gives, no, listen, every child, you give them the attention that's needed for them. Not every child is going to be on the same mental capacity either. Some kids need more attention than others. Some a lot more understanding. Some catch up a lot quicker. But most of the time, it's all about communication. I don't even know. <laughs> where do I start? I don't. Like, I don't even know where to start with that. You yes. The excuses. Fuck the holidays and recitals. That's a white man's thing. What? What man's gonna take kids to work with them? Who told you to put the kids on your back and take them to work in the office? Like, why is, <laughs> why is there absolutely no nuance when it comes to this conversation? Either you're, you're, you come and you take care and you're a present in the household or the extreme others. I, I, I put the baby on my back with the baby knapsack and I go to work with the baby on my back and the toddler and I'm holding the, the toddler's hand all around the office. What the fuck are you talking about? Nobody's asked you to take these children to work with you. What? Like, what? <coughs> <coughs>
And this is why I made sure to play the full Andrew Tate video, the full Acom video, because there are really men who think like this. And they think that, and, and a lot of it, the reason why they kind of have this mentality is mainly because they have money. So they feel like because they have money and power and prestige, that it allows them a certain level of, you know, I can have nine kids by nine different people and it shouldn't matter. You know, it, it's frustrating. And, and we see now, even with the Masterpiece situation, for y'all who watch the deep dive, Master P claims nine kids. He biologically has eight. Look how fractured that family is because he was so busy hustling and quote unquote building generational wealth. And half of his kids got the same mother. Sign your boy seven of his children and he couldn't even be there. So imagine you're a father and you got kids in seven different homes. Now we see Romeo speaking out. You see the other ones on social media saying little things. But Akon wants everybody to believe that you can just throw money at the problem and it's okay. As long as I'm providing a roof for you, that's okay. No, that might be okay for the women who are choosing to get in line and have you sustain their lifestyle. When it comes to children, children don't give a fuck about that. They don't care about money. They don't care about living in a big house. A child will love you in a shack as long as they know that, they're, that you're their father and you're there for them and you're their mother and you're there for them. The money dynamic that these men keep talking about is for the women. It's not about the children. Think about when babies, I, I tell them all the time around Christmas, the funnest age for me, like one of the funnest holidays for me when I had little babies was when you have a baby that's under the age of three. They don't understand the nuances of Christmas. They, they're not corrupted by the holidays. They don't know who, you know, Jolly Saint Nick is. Give a child under the age of three a Christmas present and look how much fun they have with the wrapping paper. They don't care about that present. They'll throw the present to the side. They will have fun all day with the wrapping paper. I used to sit and watch my babies just play with the wrapping paper. And it's like, look, I got you this new toy. Look at this toy from Fisher Price. And they're tossing it to the side. They don't care. They're more enamored by the simple things in life. The wrapping paper. And I'm using that as an example. They don't care that you went and got, that, you, that you're a rich celebrity and you're coming through like Santa Claus and you're handing everybody Rolex watches and fur coats and, you know, the latest Balenciaga, you know what I'm saying? The latest Prada outfit. They just want to spend time with you, dad. That's the perfect analogy for it. For y'all who don't have little kids, go to like a little cousin's house. It's the holiday season. Go ahead and buy your little cousin a gift. And see if that baby don't play more with that cheap ass wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree than even that gift that you got them that you spent time wrapping up. Because kids are so innocent. They don't care about none of that stuff. All of that materialistic shit comes in as they get older. <clears throat> And they're comparing themselves to other kids and things like that. I don't, I don't know. It, it's such a, it, it's sad. And I'm not, I get it. I was raised with men like this. You know, it, it's prevalent in my culture as well. You, my mom's Muslim. So this isn't, he's not saying anything that I haven't grown up hearing, you know, people having multiple wives. And I mean, I, I get, I get it. But and I understand, I, I guess for me, it made more sense back in the day, right? When women actually did need men. And sometimes for women's survival, it was probably easier for them to be with you, to be the wife number four and five, because the man was actually taking care of the household and women couldn't just get up and go get jobs and all that shit. But I'm sorry, not, not, not in 2022 going on 2023. We're not going to spin this argument like women are not out here making power moves where they have to put themselves in these situations. Like, I, I'm, I'm not buying that. 
I wish these guys would be real and just say, I just want to fuck a bunch of bitches and just create a bunch of kids and see what they're going to look like. I would respect that more than this, than the, this mush mouth mind game. Just say you want to see what your DNA can create with women of different races, different features and different ethnicities. I would respect that more. I honestly would. Than saying, oh, uh, uh, I, I, I'm doing this to strengthen my gene pool. No, you're not. You're trying to see if you can create kids that are mixed and have curly eyes and, oh, I'm a black man and I created a kid with blue eyes. I, I would honestly respect that more. And I'm not saying, you know, I don't know what Akon's baby's mothers look like. They could all be black. I don't know. I'm talking about Nick Cannon. But because let's keep it real, that's why a lot of these dudes are out here having all these kids by different women. They're trying to create different little versions of, the, of themselves. They want a black sicken kid, a Blasian kid, a mixed kid, a half Iranian kid. <laughs> I would respect, did I say curly eyes? I meant curly hair, sorry. <laughs> I meant green eyes and curly hair, sorry. I'd respect them being honest and saying that, then trying to use this mush mouth excuse as to why they're having all these kids. Just say y'all are trying to fuck a bunch of bad bitches and just create a bunch of kids and, and lock these women down so you can be like, that's my baby's mother. I, I You know what I'm saying? I, I got a bad bitch on my roster. I'd respect that more than playing all these mind games. <laughs> I really would. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.